This is a big bridge and an important bridge because of the river underneath it. And that, my friends, is the Mississippi. It's going north, and then that's going south. Hey, 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 first day in Louisiana. We came in last night after staying a day at Woodville, Alabama. Uh, Woodville, Mississippi, mm -hmm. that you will, that you have seen in the video, of course, so. We are, so we are in Avery Island slash New Iberia area, which if you're looking at the map of Louisiana, it looks like a shoe, and we are in the arch of the shoe. So super close to the Gulf, but it's not beaches, it's bayou. And bayou. we came during crawfish season at the very beginning. So we're gonna get some crawfish, but first we gotta enjoy the weather. It's 69 degrees. Yeah. And we're going to go to a state park and hike and explore the area. Yep. And then later we might do the Tabasco factory. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, stay tuned. But we are excited to be back on the road. And in warm weather. <laughs> yes. All right. So we just arrived to a state park. Lake Talsi. Falsi. Falsi. But an F. Falsi. State Park here in uh, oh, fresh Louisiana. Lake Fousey. There's probably some French word that we're pronouncing totally incorrectly. And we're about to do a 3.3 mile hike around here and see what it is. It's mm -hmm. currently 68 degrees. S sunshine, like literally the clearest of blue skies. Sunshiny and the boogers are sticking out. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. She's gonna fix her burgers. So and then uh BRB fam. We will uh enjoy the scenery. Looking good, honey. Alright, so we are on the trail system. We are in bayou country, and bayous are different than Wetlands and swamps, not sure how. We'll Google it and put a definition right here of a bayou. It is, we're here just before Mardi Gras starts but, and at the very beginning of crawfish season. Um, it's warmer today, so we might see some alligators, uh, but luckily the snakes and such are deep into the ground. So, enjoy the scenery. You look great. You like those new happy socks? Mm -hmm. Those are queen. Is that the queen ones? Music. Bites the dust, That's yeah. Smile. Alright. That thumb, gotta get that thumbnail, you know. It's also rutting season, so we might see some deer. The trees are cool. The vines that once grew. All those little things shooting up are roots. They have no interest in actually growing. It's all just the root system. Our resident expert on alligators says that they normally chill in the water. 
<laughs> I have no idea about alligators. Mr. Norway knows about alligators. <laughs> It is so pretty on here. We saw some d people launching the boat launch, but since we've started this trail, we haven't seen another soul or animal, but it's been nice. Nice to get outside and move our bodies. So we just finished our hike at the lake campground trail system. Um, it was a little bit warmer. And I expected, you could see my sweat stains, but wow, does it feel good to get out and moving and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, we'll catch you up later today. It's about 2.13 <coughs> right now. Not sure what we're doing completely just yet, but I'm sure we'll catch up with you later. All right, we're eating out here in Louisiana and we're at the restaurant Bon Creole. Yep, we finished our run and we had some downtime showered and now we are getting dinner. Currently looking at some uh, seafood gumbo. We got some crawfish, uh, catfish, shrimp fried, and we also got some good old bread pudding. Looking good. Good morning. Good morning. We are on day second day, our second full day here. It's January nineteenth. Um, oof, here in New Iberia, and we are headed south. So New Iberia is pretty far south in Louisiana. It's south of uh, Interstate 90, but we are going to Avery Island today, and that's the home of the Tabasco factory and some salt mines. And then also we're gonna go further south than that to a, I think it's Cypermort, I'll put it right here, um, the state park that we're going to to see the Gulf Coast and some beach time. The high is supposed to be 73 degrees Fahrenheit today, and we are up and moving and ready to go. Yeah, it's been an exciting day, uh, and tomorrow we head for Houston, so see you soon there. So we are, gotten our tickets to the Tabasco factory, and this is the plant and the grounds. Mm. We'll see you inside, you guys. Just finished part one of the museum tour or the factory tour of Tabasco. It was interesting with the whole family. A lot of them served a lot in the war, and they uh, they worked hard to get where they're at. But Tabasco is now a, not only a staple in hot sauce, but also a staple in pop culture. All right, so we've made it to stop number two. We are in the greenhouse or one of the greenhouse. And you can see the little peppers. These are the habanero peppers. And those are the Tabasco ones. So here are the filled barrels. They've got salt on them and they age for what they say three years before we used. Just in an open warehouse, so oh, you can't see. Focus over there. What does it smell like to you? Tabasco. This is before they add vinegar. So it's just the salt and the mashed haban or the mashed Tabasco pepper. The salt that was just used on the top of the barrel is actually from the salt caves here on the island. It's pretty cool. My most interesting fact that I've learned so far is that this Avery Island is very diverse. So it has salt mines, crude oil, um, fabulous farming, uh, agriculture zones and stuff like that. It was a site where they've dated 
2,500 years ago that there was humans here. They suspect just having pots of water and boiling to get out the salt before they found the salt caves. Um, in the salt caves, they found actually like the tooth of a dinosaur, which is pretty cool. Um, and in this bamboo forest, they say that bears are frequently spotted here. So, wow, I see one right there, right there, it's a bear. <laughs> Another interesting fact that we learned, or like really just kind of recognized in the museum, is that there, the Tabasco brand is not only a culinary staple, just and on tabletops and in kitchens around the world, it's also like a cultural icon between its use in the military and appreciation in pop culture and pop music and just cartoons and everything else, at least in America, it is a pretty incredible piece of American history and American culture, whether you thought about it or not. Do you have Tabasco in your kitchen? So after being aged in the barrels, it gets mixed with vinegar for two to three weeks being stirred once in a while. These are all those vats. it open to the public but this is what their example and demonstration is of the salt mine. So there's a large chunk of salt rock and then they have photos of it and then this is their little experience of the salt mine. Um, there was a salt mine that did have tours but COVID closed it and then since that it's gone under because it was a museum. So unfortunately we can't see that today on Avery Island. So that is our assault mine experience. Is it Norwegian, but it's in Swedish. Oh, so they have the Swedish bottle mislabeled. Or the Norwegian bottle mislabeled. Oh, well, maybe Swedish is Norwegian. So, Norwegian. Yeah, it's Swedish though. It says Norwegian, but it's Swedish. And is the Swedish Swedish or is yeah. that Norwegian? No, it's Swedish. You should tell them. File a complaint. Let them know. They have miniature ones for different companies. I mean, the Danish is Swedish too. What? Yeah, you're using the same one for all of them. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's Finnish Norman. Oh, it's Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, okay, so which one is Flemish the same? At, okay. Busted Tabasco. So, in the legend, it said that Tabasco is sent to every country that's a shade of red. The reach is global. Wow, 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 wow. Look at these trees. So one of the McIlhenys, is that how we're going to pronounce their last name? Um, was a big, big horticulture person and really into gardens. And so his estate, his personal estate on Avery Island went into gardens. And so this is... We are able to drive the three miles because we've got places to go. But this is his estate and it's called Jungle Gardens on Avery Isle. Wow, wow, wow. What did you just spot, Ernst? I think that's an alligator chilling right there, no? This is our first alligator. Oh my goodness. It's there. And this is in the wild. They said that we could bring Bjorn and go walking and stuff. But they said, cautioned us because oh, of the alligators. Chilling. There it is. Wow, wow, wow. A Norwegian? Oh. Is that a fish? I don't know. It was lunch. Oh. So cool. 
nature. So this is an old boathouse on the property. We just came up from that way. Bjorn's enjoying all the scents. Okay, onward, Ernst. This is that we're driving through the holly hedge right now. We passed the Cleveland Oak before. There's bamboo, there's Japanese vines, there's massive trees which my heart just loves. How beautiful. The Listeria Arch. Look at how big the trunks are. The Listeria grow. Wanna go to Bird City? Heart is happy. Prince, you're reading that sign. What does it say? It's Mechel Mechel Honey's home. Mechel Honey. 1998. Can you move your cup? Thank you. He came home from an Arctic expedition and he took over a business and his home. It is close to the public. I don't know if anybody lives there now, but maybe. Let's see, super zoom 10 on it. Don't know. We made it to the state park that is on the Gulf Coast. So we're still in a little bit of the bayou. You can see there's land on that side, but yonder should be... I don't know if you can see it on the phone. The yeah, top. all the way in the distance there, there's a little yeah. bit of land. So I'll show you, Ernst will put a map right here and show you kind of like our orientation. Thank you, Ernst. Um, but Bjorn's gonna go swim. We're calling it the Gulf of Mexico, even though it's like a shell. Waters. Cool. Go, go swim. It's not as warm as I wanted it to be. It's got a little bit of a breeze and not as sunny as it was predicted to be, but still a beautiful day. We have this whole state park to ourselves. There's some construction workers who are repairing damages that it looks like from Hurricane Ida. Um, but I mean, do a scan of this. This is a beautiful. Beyond the construction, there is nothing going on here, so it's a private beach. Still here in the park, been throwing a ball with Bjorn and he loves to swim. Unfortunately, the ball had a little hole in it and it sunk. I threw it out in the water and at one point it just bloop. So, so ironically, if you've watched our videos, we'll put a link to it right here, but the same thing happened. Okay, we're at day two, week two of our marathon training. It's 8 a.m. Week two, day four. We took a rest day yesterday as prescribed. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, it's 8 a.m. Heading for Texas after this. It's 40 degrees, which is like, uh, I think around five Celsius. I'll have to, I'll pull it up. So it went from beautiful day to cold. But yeah, next stop is Texas. Help Texas! Okay, we are leaving 
Louisiana and Avery Island slash New Iberia where we were staying. My rose was just seeing the nature of it. I think I really enjoyed the hike that we went on the first full day that we were here. Um, and I really enjoyed learning about the Tabasco and how culturally significant that is. My thorn would be the cold weather that we're experiencing today. It was, our run this morning was quite brutally cold, even though it was still in the 40s. Um, and then my bud is, oh, another thorn is for me to figuring out, oh, it's bouncy. Um, <laughs> is jiggling. Um, my other thorn is figuring out our new route because it's going to be too cold to go to Arkansas and Oklahoma right now. Um, but that's exciting and I'm looking forward to, that's my bud, is looking forward to rerouting and getting out west faster. Good morning. Sorry for the shaking. Yeah, the, the road, road sucks. The best. Uh, Rose is definitely having gumbo had some seafood gumbo which tastes great and then uh, listening to all the different uh, accents and dialects around here it's the Louisiana accent is pretty thick and it's it's, it's fun to listen to uh, but is to go to Texas that's something I've been excited about this whole trip have some real good barbecue and meet some family and friends hopefully Thorn is that we weren't able to go to New Orleans uh, and we decided to go. I mean, I really like going to Avery Island, but I would have loved to go to New Orleans, but next time. All right, we'll see you in Houston. Bye. Yeah, go for it, yeah. Hi guys, welcome to the Anderson's Journal. I'm your host, Josh, and we're gonna head over to Louisiana. <laughs> Boot up. Are we still filming? <laughs> Is it, can we cut?